Hello, I am Nick the Tool and I'm back with another product just for you. So today I want to show you Snap-On's Dual 80 Ratcheting Combination Wrench. Now Snap-On make a lot of different wrenches and there's lots of reasons why you would buy different ones. But today I'm going to show you the Ratcheting one and I'm going to show you why you should pick Snap-On over some of the other products which are out there. So if we have a little look at the wrench you can see in our ratchet wrench it's a good decent length. This is our standard length and it's designed so that the average person can apply the correct amount of torque for the size of the fastener. So you'll be aware that we do short and extra long wrenches but the ratcheting style wrench is in our standard design. If you look at this end of the wrench it's fitted with our flank drive plus system. These are the teeth that are engraved into the end of the tool. These are physically machined in and not stamped into the teeth. And they're not designed for grip with regards to teeth biting on something. They are designed to enable the corners of the fastener to drop into the holes within the wrench. And this will enable you to get 62% more turning power. So you're going to get more turning power with a Snap-on Flank Drive Plus open-ended wrench. Also, if you look at this angle here, this is Snap-on's continuous arc design. Now, some manufacturers put lots of flats in here and tell you that it's biting on four different places. That is incorrect. When you put it under load, it's only ever going to bite on these two faces. And the wrench is going to try and spread apart. And because you have that problem with it trying to spread, we try to reduce that. And the way we reduce it is with a continuous arc design. So if you were to lay this wrench on a piece of paper and you were to draw around that arc, you would see that it would make a perfect circle and that is spreading the load perfectly across the jaws, down the shank, less chance of those jaws flicking open. So on some of your cheaper wrenches, you may find that you load them and they just skip for a fraction of a second and that's enough to round the fastener or to slip. Um, and you may think there's nothing wrong with your wrench, but every time you go back and look at it, it'll look perfect, but actually those jaws are flicking apart. So you're not gonna have that problem with this end of the wrench. If you look down the shank of the wrench you can see it's clearly marked both ends top and tail so whichever way you put the wrench up you know exactly what size you're going to get. Now we go down to the super end this is the new 80 tooth ratchet spanner from Snap-on and this is the business end which is going to make all those differences. So it's 80 tooth just like our ratchets it means it has a pawl here and a pawl here which is biting onto the main cog so the teeth are engaged all the time rather than the some of the ratchet spanners which have a lever that move the pawl inside. This means we have more teeth engaging with the cog, so it's stronger, which also means because it's stronger, we can then make it finer. So 80 tooth means you get nice, lots of little clicks, very small arc when you're trying to work in a tight environment, four and a half degrees between each click. So very, very fine, but also strong. Now the party piece with this ratchet, I have a little demo prop to show you why this is so good. Now, a lot of people steer away from ratchet spanners because they feel that the wall thickness is too large and the profile is too deep. Not anymore. So, this is my demo prop. And this has been manufactured and machined to a high tolerance that will enable this wrench to get in. So, the demonstration is quite simple. I'm going to pick four of the wrenches that Snap-on make and just show you that they've been designed for tight access but they can't get into the prop. So first thing we're gonna try is one of our blue point wrenches. So normal combination wrench, 18 millimeter. Try to drop it in and the wall thickness is just too high. So we just can't get that profile in at all. If I then go to a ratcheting spanner, this is our blue point ratchet spanner, a real good selling product, good product. Try and offer it in, it won't go in. You can see it's just too thick. Just cannot get into those tight spaces at all, so we won't be able to undo the fastener. So let's assume we're going to reach for something completely different. Let's go for a snap-on normal spanner, so one of our standard wrenches. Now the ring won't go in, turn it round this end, and yes it will go in, but you can't get any movement on the nut at all. You can't physically turn it. So now let's see how well we get on with the dual 80 ratcheting spanner from Snap-on. Goes in with ease, drops down onto the fastener and it will operate and undo the fastener. So now we have our strongest, finest ratcheting wrench all ready to go, available individually 
or if you want to invest in some quality wrenches, why not fill your box with 10 to 19 mil? And you're gonna have everything you need for whatever comes through the door. If you want to know more, ask your Snap-on franchisee.